Hey everyone, back out here at Bodecker Lake. Nice beautiful day on this Tuesday. Took out the uh, Eddy Line Fathom kayak today. Give you guys a good idea what it's like with the, compared to the pack raft. Uh, I'm still using my uh, Warner Kameno paddle. But as you can see, I'm not moving around as much with the pack raft. Um, nice thing about my Fathom here is it's got a uh, built-in skeg that I can raise and lower That'll help with wind and currents keeps me on a nice steady track um, But yeah, that's a great place to come out to with my with this it's got a just tracks it so well and so calm I feel like I've made much more ground than I did with that pack raft. I've only been out here maybe less than five minutes and I feel like I'm already halfway to the lake. Let's do the lake. I'm looking at my Garmin here. Yeah, I've come pretty far. I'm just starting out. It's a crazy little bird over there. All right, I don't know what those are. Those were kind of cool looking. They look almost like a kiwi. All right, I'm gonna try go through these reeds here. The nice thing about my fathom, it's Barely has a very shallow, doesn't have a deep profile. It's just long. Um, I think you can make do these reeds just fine. Um, let's retract the skeg, make sure that's out of the way. Oh, yeah, we got it in here just fine. Um, one cool thing. You can see the up front there's a cargo uh, hatch up there. There's two more behind me. So this thing is great for uh, doing long distance um, touring. Like if you wanted to go island hopping or do a bunch of um, overnight camping trips in this. Um, I hope to do that when I get out to Seattle again. Um, I got a couple friends out there that want to do the... Um, San Juan Islands 
and I'm hoping to do a overnight kayaking trip with them out there. That'd be really fun. pretty good going through that little bit of reeds. All right, this area is kind of a cool spot over here in Bodeca. It's on the northwest side. It's a nice, like, array of little channels and brush you can go through. This would be a great spot to go fishing. I'm sure you can catch a lot of fun fish in here that like to hide amongst the trees and bushes. Don't know how far I can go in, but I do see a path I could probably take. Now I could probably take the pack raft in here just fine since it's very durable. But yeah, I'm having no troubles with my eddy line here. Now this is a 17 foot sea kayak. So the fact I could get that through there and maneuver it through those trees, it's pretty nice. I'm not having to worry too much about scratching the hull or anything. guy's got it made here he has all his, his dock his paddle boards all that right there be nice
heading back. What a good day to be back out here on Bow Decker, taking out the Eddy line. Uh, when I get back, I'm gonna show you what I use to uh, transport my kayak and how I get all set up to you know travel. Um, other than that, you know, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. Um, give me some good ideas. I'm gonna try and do other than paddling, um, get out there, do some hiking, climbing. You know, when wintertime hits, we'll do snowshoeing. Um, yeah, let me know. All right, so here's how I get the uh, kayak up on here. I use the uh, um, Yakima Sweet Rolls uh, kayak carrier. They pivot and have a wheel on the back to help get them up there. I use a blanket to help with my spoiler because it's a little long. Um, so I'll show you how you can get that up there. Do is just strap it down. All right, so I got it all strapped in. Um, as you can see, I have straps from the front, the middle, as well as the front. And that Yakima Sweet Roll uh, comes with the straps. Um, you have to buy the locks separate, but you know, if you don't want them like anybody taking them or stealing them, it's good to have. Um, it, to me, I love this design. Um, this is a setup I can use with my bike. I can have the bike on one side, the kayak on the other. Plus, this keeps the kayak air like more aerodynamic. So when I'm traveling, I don't notice it up there um, as much. Like if I had the J hook or J um, rack that some people use for their kayaks, um, it's pretty good on my 2018 Super Outback. You know, with a little overhang, I've got the red flag. And then I was going to show you guys, so the Fathom, that's the skeg, which pops down right here. And this retracts up and down, depending on where you're at. Um, it's good for, you know, because of wind and currents, keep yourself straight. Um, other than that, you know, it's a good setup. It doesn't take much to get on and off. Um, 